With anti-Semitism unfortunately on the rise once again around the world, it makes us ask the question, where did anti-Semitism begin? Many historians tell us it started with the Greeks over 2,000 years ago. Shalom, my friends. This is Akiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. It was over 2,000 years ago, in the 4th century BCE, that the Greeks came into the land of Israel and took it over as part of their conquests around the world, led by their ruler, Alexander the Great. They came into the land of Israel and what they met there and who they met there was very different than anything else, anyone else they had met on their military conquests around the world. Because here in the land of Israel, they met a people that had very, very different beliefs than any of the other peoples who they took over and conquered on these military conquests. The Jews at that time were the only monotheistic people. Judaism was the only monotheistic faith in the entire world. And to the Greeks, it was so foreign. They couldn't understand it. They couldn't even accept it. But let's zoom out just a little bit before we get into those details. Before the Greek conquest of the land of Israel, of course, there were conflicts in this region. And the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Judah, were part of those different conflicts with their neighbors. But they were all politically based uh, or economically based. Any conflicts that the, that the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Judah had with their neighbors had to do with difference of politics, policies, alliances, economics, taxes, things like that. There were tax, there were uh, destructions, there, there, there was an exile in the 6th century BCE. But again, all of those came from a political place, an economic place, nothing to do with anti-Semitism. It wasn't until the Greeks came into the land of Israel that anti-Semitism really, on this kind of level, in this kind of way, was born. Now, at first, Alexander the Great let the Jews be Jews. Uh, they were different. He didn't get them. The Greeks didn't understand them, but they, they were allowed to do what they wanted and practice how uh, they felt. It wasn't until the second century BC that a new kind of ruler um, came in and took over. And with him and with his rule, he is the one that brought in anti-Semitic measures. Now, this is all happening around the time of the Hanukkah story, right? With this new ruler came harsh and heavy measures, right? Um, all kinds of laws that were passed that literally banned the basic practices and rituals of Judaism. At first, circumcision, right? Torah study, the honoring and the keeping of, of Shabbat. The Greeks didn't get how the Jews could believe in one God as opposed to multiple gods, which they and the rest of the world believed in. They couldn't understand how they had a temple where there were no idols, there were no images inside of it. It absolutely blew their mind. And they wanted the Jews, they wanted the, the, the Jews living in this land to be like all the other peoples that they had conquered in order to bring homogeneity and, and unity in their eyes to their, their empire. And this is the, the main motivation behind these harsh measures, these different bands, that they brought into place. Um, with them, in addition to these rules uh, and these laws and these bans, they brought their Greek culture into the land, which at first was not forced upon uh, the, the Jews living here, but later on spread more and more and more and caused and influenced many Jews to leave their own Jewish roots and heritage and practices and take on the Greek, the Greek culture, whether that be the bathhouses, whether that be the theater, whether that just be the whole um, attitude towards life, philosophy of life, of focusing much more heavily on the body than the soul. And with this came a real clash of cultures uh, between the Greeks and the Jews. And again, this was the, the story of Hanukkah, right? The story of Hanukkah was really based in this clash of cultures. And the Hasmoneans, the Maccabees, who led the revolt against the Greeks, were motivated to purify, as they saw it in their eyes, uh, their land and their people of this foreign culture 
and to restore Jewish culture back to the Jews in the Jewish homeland. Um, now, maybe if it wasn't accompanied by such harsh and heavy bans and laws and anti-Semitism, um, maybe there wouldn't have been such a clash of cultures and maybe there would have been a way to kind of um, allow for the two cultures to coexist peacefully in this land. But because it came with such cultural and religious attacks on the Jews, the Hasmoneans, the Maccabees, uh, the heroes of the Hanukkah story really felt that if they didn't do something about what was going on, there would be major trouble and who knows what would be with the future in Judaism. And we know that the revolt itself started as a result of very anti-Semitic acts where, where Greek soldiers were going all around the country, um, gathering Jews in different towns and villages and forcing them to bow down to idols, right? which we obviously know is uh, goes against one of the major, major tenets of the Jewish faith. So here we see the whole Hanukkah story really being fueled by Greek anti-Semitism, right? forcing Jews to literally break the most basic and fundamental belief of their faith, of their religion, of their practice. Um, so again, we look at the world today, unfortunately we see anti-Semitism on the rise and we wonder sometimes where did it begin? How did it begin? Why did it begin? Uh, and we see over 2000 years ago, uh, with the Greeks, um, and then coming into the land of Israel and conquering, uh, this as part of their, their global military conquests, they are really the first empire to, to be so harsh from a religious perspective, not just political and economic, towards the Jews in their land, against their culture, really being the first ones to be anti-Semitic against the Jews.